Hi, so in this video I'm going to be taking a look at a course which you can find through the wingfox.com website. And this is the introduction to world building in Unreal Engine. This course has been made by Mauricio who has worked in the video games industry for a while, most notably at Ubisoft. I always like to take a look at courses from people who actually work in the industry because it gives a pretty good glimpse at the different practices you can take in order to build environments. So this is essentially an environment art course, sometimes the titles environment art and world building are used interchangeably, but in most cases when people refer to world building, they are typically referring to the creation of the art plus the assembling of a level. This course runs you through the art creation process, but also has a great emphasis on the level design as it pertains to things you need to keep in mind, such as the layout of a level and things like having points of interest. So the course starts you out by walking you through the process of blocking out the level using both Unreal Engine and 3ds Max. 3ds Max is the main program used for the 3D modeling in this course, but if you already have knowledge of other 3D programs, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to use any of those 3D programs to follow along in the modeling steps. For this reason, I would say this course would probably fall under the intermediate category since it's not one of those courses that holds your hands all the way in the process, but rather shows you how things are done without being too specific on the program you're using. This course focuses more on the principles of world building rather than holding your hand through the process, which I think it's a good thing as it allows the students to take in the information and translate that on their own. This doesn't mean that each step is not shown during the course, but instead of going over key presses or menus, it covers the principles needed in order to get the work done and in a logical fashion. The course runs you through the modeling and texturing process, but one thing I really like about it is that it takes you into Unreal Engine fairly on in the course. This is very important as it teaches you how to create assets while keeping in mind the final use of those assets and being able to iterate them based on the scene you're working on. This is a great way to create assets as it doesn't become one of those things where you make a bunch of props and then put them together in a scene, but rather you start with the scene and use a block out to get an idea of what props will look like in the final stages. This is one of those courses that takes you through the whole process, from beginning modeling block outs to the final layout and lighting of the scene. This also includes many of the settings you will need in order to end up with a next gen looking scene. Overall, I think this is yet another great environment course for those looking to learn how to make environments, not just the art, but also more about the thinking that goes into the layout of a level as well. The course is about 18 hours long, which is actually on the shorter side from some of these courses I have reviewed so far, but all the information you need to make a next gen looking environment is there. Overall, I would recommend this course to anyone looking to get into environment creation, but I will say this is one I would recommend to intermediate and advanced learners only, as I don't think someone just getting started would be able to keep up with all the information. Okay, so I will leave a link in the video description to the wingfox.com website where you can get this course. I also want to thank the folks from Wingfox for giving me access to this course in particular. Again, there's a link in the video description. Also, if anyone wants me to review a specific course from the Wingfox website, let me know and I will take a look at it. Okay, I'll leave you with a short intro promo for this particular course.